All right, guys, so uh, here we go. It's now official. We're going to be getting two brand new unique equipments coming out to Dragon Ball Legends tonight for the weekly reset update. Now, we have a ton of stuff to discuss in today's video because they are straight up pushing an agenda for a specific tag pre-anniversary, which starts in what, less than two weeks from today. Um, they're also straight up buffing two LF characters, which is quite hilarious as well because um, these are not even a year old. So yeah, let's just straight up get into it, guys. And by the way, if you do enjoy the video, as always, make sure you guys simply just like and subscribe, and I'll make sure to keep you guys updated here 24 7 everything dragon ball legends 60 year anniversary and beyond so let's get into it okay I, I found this one quite funny okay um so of course we all got hint we all know we got hinted um yesterday night two unique equipments one of which we already knew was going to be the super saiyan goku which we'll get to him in just one bit um but we also got a second equipment here which is specifically for vegeta clan and red so I think this Vegeta clan in red, and I'm doing quotations with my finger right now, is a facade. It's a fake out, right? They just added Vegeta clan in red um, because they don't want to admit their mistakes to this final flash Vegeta not being good enough upon release. So they're all like, let's just make it Vegeta clan in red, right? Let's just give eight Vegeta, which is, by the way, another LF getting buffed. And he's really, really good as well as um, heat dome chunks. But I find it hilarious how we got two buffs for two LF characters, technically three with this eight Vegeta, but two LF characters that did not, you know, they didn't, they didn't even cross over a year mark, guys. I mean, this Vegeta just came out like yesterday, right? And this Goku came out last August, but, uh, you know, still less than a year old. Now, it's quite quite, uh, quite obvious here, guys, that they are definitely pushing an agenda for Saiyans, okay? Even though this says Vegeta Clan in red, it's clear that they're trying to buff this Final Flash Vegeta for Saiyans. Of course, he buffs Saiyans with his uh, Z ability, as well as this Goku here. He buffs Saiyans with his Z ability. And of course, two weeks ago, we all know that we got this unexpected Super Saiyan 3 Goku that buffs um, Zenkai that buffs, uh, what is he, what does he buff? He buffs Red and Saiyans, straight up Saiyans with his uh, Z ability. So um, Zenkai's Z ability is specific. So yeah, I mean, they are pushing these Saiyans um, agenda pretty strongly. And of course, we all know we got the free to play Whis, which also, you know, uh, buffs God Key. So you put two and two together, we might just be getting a God Goku for uh, part one of the anniversary or something around the lines. But honestly, guys, Saiyans is a super, super broad tag. I mean, you could <laughs> pretty much 90% of the game, not 90, but like majority of the game is going to be a Saiyan character or hype characters, right? Any fusion characters, pretty much, you know, like Gogeta, Vegito and stuff like that. They're all Saiyans, right? Um, so I did find this quite funny and I do think they just slapped on Red and Vegeta Clan on purpose. They don't care about Vegeta Clan. They just care about buffing this... Uh, this final flash Vegeta here. So this was absolutely hilarious to see. And by the way, quickly, I want to note this, that we are going to get a maintenance tonight um, for for uh, for a banner. So we are going to get a, re a returning banner tonight. And I did mention this on my video yesterday, guys, um, of all the stuff we can expect tonight. And I'll be coming out with uh, data mines and leaks in a few hours from now. So, uh, you know, if you guys want to keep posted, just make sure to turn on those notifications. But in terms of Saiyans, let's just take a look at this really quick because I find this quite fascinating. I, re I really, really do. So Saiyans, I believe is, you know, of course, they're basically, let's just say the main tag of, of the game, right? So we got UI Goku, which is yellow. Now they're buffing an extra blue, which is this uh, Super Saiyan Goku here, which by the way, they're also buffing Super Saiyans. So we'll get to Super Saiyans in just one bit. But blue, we got, of course, we got a ton of blues, as a matter of fact. We got uh, GT's Pure Bomb Kid Goku. We got Goku and Bardock, which is blue and green. Um, so, I mean, yeah, I mean, Saiyans is pretty much well stacked. Now, this Vegeta is getting a buff as well, which is very much well needed. Uh, purple, I would say, is kind of like the, um, I would say purple is now the color they're missing. So, if we do get a busted Saiyan, I think they kind of need a purple, right? Because... Uh, this Goku and Final Form Freeza tag unit is about to uh, cross over the one year mark, which is pretty crazy, right? And of course, uh, Power Creep is real, so we're not going to count uh, Ultra Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta right here, right? So I think purple is the ta is the color this tag needs. Um, and in terms of Vegeta Clan, yes, we are going to get red and Vegeta Clans. So the Super Vegeta, you could toss in this uh, Zenkai Trunks, right? And stuff like that, but there's not really much else. And this A Vegeta, of course, but there's not really much else besides that. 
I mean, I'm trying to look. Yeah, there's not much else besides that. So I think this uh, Vegeta Clan, I'm doing, once again, I'm doing quotations. Vegeta Clan in red is just specifically for this <laughs> Final Flash Vegeta. They're just too too ashamed to admit that they uh, that this character needs a buff right away. So I, I just find it absolutely hilarious, man. Um, and of course, we got this red Goku here that's buffing Saiyan and uh, red with his, um, with his Zankai Z ability. So yeah. Um, and in terms of Super Saiyans, right? Um, there's been a okay so there's been some heavy speculation around a super vegito i i i can see it if it's like a brand new fusion mechanic where you know of course goku and, goku and uh, i was about to say goku and frieza transforms to vegito no uh goku and uh vegeta fuses into vegito but the only speculation came out of this just because of this goku here right but i think this goku doesn't mean anything I mean, it doesn't really mean much, right? Unless, by by the way, we could get a game's original character that completely fakes us out and we don't know what to expect, right? Because it's a made-up character. But this Goku here is Majin Buu Saga and he's not buffing Majin Buu Saga. So the speculation of all this Super Vegito fanboy people coming out, right? Which, by the way, I love Super Vegito. He's, he's probably my favorite fusion uh, from the Buhan fight. But um, the speculation is coming from this Goku's Zenkai. And I don't think... I really don't think they're trying to uh, hint anything with this saga, right? Because has his Z ability, his Zenkai Z ability has nothing to do with the saga. It just mainly has to do with Saiyans. And we're seeing it more and more now, especially with this Super Vegeta uh, getting a Zenkai. This Goku here, Namek Goku getting a Zenkai as well. All, once again, with less than a year old, right? So I'm actually quite excited for this, uh, for this Goku a lot. Um, this Goku is actually one of my favorite units. He's, he's just a fun unit. You, you know, there's some units that are not the best units, but they're just so fun. There's something about that unit that you like using. I love this character's artwork. This is probably my favorite variation of Goku, like the first OG Super Saiyan Goku, like the poofy hair and stuff like that. Absolutely love this Goku, but um, my favorite thing about this Goku is uh, his ultimate. So his ultimate is Super Kamehameha Burst. And uh, once your unique gauge is full, he has the ability to uh, inflict all enemies with no switching for three timer counts. So this in itself, I, I, when I used to use this Goku a lot back in August, September, because of course he he actually fights against LOE, so um, which is pretty cool because I used to use him a lot to stop you know Goku and Frieza back in the day. <laughs> it's crazy, right? Because the power creep is so real. You, you you wouldn't think a character like Goku and Frieza would get power creeped, and then boom, here we go, right? Um, so yeah, I mean, uh, no switching. I just catch so many people, uh, slipping with this, right? But yeah, man, I'm, I'm excited. I, I surprisingly enough did not pull for this Vegeta, which was one of the worst LFs of recent times. So I'm actually glad I did not pull for this Vegeta at the time. Um, I did miss on Android 16, but, uh, this is one of the rare banners I saw and I'm like, okay, this I'm probably going to skip out on. I'm not going to use this Vegeta. But yeah, here we go. A few months, a short few months later, guys, we are going to get a unique equipment for this Vegeta. Once again, it's not labeled straight up for Vegeta, but it's still technically speaking for him, right? I mean, he's just centered here, right? That That's what they're trying to um, imply. And especially with this Goku here, they're trying to buff that Vegeta even more, right? Let's just make this Final Flash Vegeta usable is what they're trying to say, right? So yeah, guys, um, once again, I'll come out with leaks in a few uh, hours and I'll make sure to cook for you guys like this squirrel for the six year anniversary. I plan on going live a lot more and stuff like that. Um, and yeah, it's going to be a fun time, fun uh, next couple months here, May, June, July, uh, part one, two and three for the six year anniversary. But if you guys did enjoy the video, as always, make sure you guys simply just like and subscribe and I'll keep you guys updated in a few hours from right now. Have a good one. Peace.